Hi everybody, welcome back to our information series and bite-sized chunks um, for IGTV. I am Oliver O'Sullivan, I am an eyebrow microblading specialist and my business is in West Cork in Clonakilty. Uh, it's called Browty Cork. Uh, you can uh, access any of the information um, regarding us and our videos on our website which is browtycork.com. Okay, today's topic is how do we draw on your prospective eyebrow? Well, we don't just leave it to chance and we don't just get you to sit up and get a pencil and draw on what we think is um, a good eyebrow. In advance, we usually ask you to arrive with your own pencil on so that we get an idea as to what kind of an eyebrow shape that you like. Um, and then we will do some measurements. Now you're going to fall into one of six face shapes. Um, and there is a specific brow for each face shape so that it would actually fit in with the facial morphology. The facial morphology is actually a study of the face shape and measurements. So we actually have um, applied those rules to um, guiding us and helping us decide what is your best eyebrow uh, face eyebrow shape for your particular face. Now along with the facial morphology we actually use four different tools also. We use manual, we use sticky rulers, we use a Fibonacci gauge and we use a digital tool as well. So these are used on everybody irrespective as to whether you just need a couple of hairs um, here and there and you just need a little bit of an enhancement to what you already have or if you arrive with patchy brows or all the way through to people who've got no brows which would be the case with people um, with alopecia, trichotillomania and those who are post chemotherapy. So just to go through a couple of the tools that we have here this is our, it's like a boomerang here um, it needs to be tightened, here we go, there's a new string put into it for every client um, and we dip this in pigment and we actually, it helps us to find out where your eyebrow is supposed to start, where the arch is supposed to be and where the tail is meant to be, obviously the glasses would not be on the client um, and that string is thrown out after every um, client and this is steel so it's autoclavable. So this gives us the markings as to where you're supposed to, the brow is supposed to start and end and where the arch is supposed to be. But we don't rely on that on its own. These are my favourite guides of all. Um, they are the Karen Bet guides. Um, they are these ones now are, are there's three different types. There's low arch, medium arch, and uh, high arch. Um, most commonly is the one we use is the um, medium arch. But this is used and it's got all these guides on it. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And that actually helps us. We stick this onto the client's forehead. We've got little markings here to help us guide above the brow bone where the eyebrow is supposed to be placed. Um, we don't just leave it to chance, we have to feel along the occipital bone here to make sure that it's placed correctly. And once it's placed correctly then we actually then can begin uh, doing the measurements. Once those measurements are actually done, um, it's removed um, and it's replaced then with a, another disposable one. This is the one that we used. Once the brow has been agreed by you, we pop this one on and we leave that one on for the duration of the microblading so that we don't accidentally go outside of the agreed brow line. Now, what's done after that then is that we've got these disposable uh, gauges um, this one here and this is where we make sure that the distance, let's just see if I can move now, the distance between the, the arch of the brow and your eyelid is the same on both sides because we want to make sure that both eyebrows are both at the same height. We don't want one eyebrow higher than the other. And we do it with a resting face. There are people who are eyebrow talkers and naturally one eyebrow flies up and down um, higher than the other only because they have an overdeveloped muscle. So if we have people who are eyebrow talkers we usually do the draw with their eye eyes closed so then the eyes are eyebrows are actually drawn on in a resting face this here is actually a Fibonacci gauge and this is where I'll do it on this eyebrow here this is where there is part of the facial morphology it's actually called phi phi um, and it's a Roman um, measurement so it's the 1.1.1.18 to 1.118, isn't that it? Um, so the start of the eyebrows here, the arches here, 
and the tail is here and this is the Fibonacci gauge and um, this is another guide it's not the ultimate but it's just another guide and then we have yet another guide this one here is also like the Fibonacci um, gauge but what we've got um, measurements all along here and what it would do then is that once the eyebrow is agreed then we just make sure that the eyebrow shape is particularly good and then finally we as I say we leave absolutely nothing to chance this here is a digital gauge um, whereby we actually do all the measurements and I just see if I can turn it around from here to here to make sure that both eyebrows are the same length. Then finally um, we use a digital tool. Now this digital tool is actually where the, the we take a photograph of you with the perspective eyebrow. This is the gorgeous Halle Capra tower. I actually took a photograph off the paper this morning. Um, and I'll just see enough I can actually use this. So the white line, we actually can move the photograph around to make sure that the white line is along the upper part of the eye, pupil of the eye, and then the parallel is going to be here. Parallel again is going to be through the mouth. And then we make sure then that the eyebrows are both at the same height. This red line then it goes down the middle of your face. Now this is actually not taken straight on as you can see. And we just need to make sure that the eyebrows are starting at the same place, the arch is in the same place and the tail is in the same place. Um, I hope you could see that. So that is the final uh, digital measurement that's done. Then you are given a mirror so that you can actually make any changes that you want to. You don't have to like it, um, but once the changes are made um, and you approve them and you sign to say that you approve them, well then we're ready to rock and roll. So you are going to fall into one of six face shapes and that's going to be oval, square, heart, um, round, diamond and long. So there's different eyebrow uh, eyebrow shapes that are recommended for different eye uh, face shapes. So there is, as I say, a long time. That's why it takes 20 minutes to design your new eyebrow. So you can make any changes that you want and once you make the changes and you approve them and you sign for them, well then we're good to go. No microblade is opened until you're 100% happy with the shape. Um, so it's very important that you are part and parcel of it. Come into us with your eyebrow pencil on so that we have an idea as to what you like and then we will actually then between us manage to work out an eyebrow that is suitable for you. Um, you're going to be looking at it every single day so it's very important that you actually are very happy with the shape. Okay um, and remember we do all brows we don't just just do uh, cancer chemotherapy brows we turn no eyebrows away i hope that helps if you want any more information pop onto our website which is browtcork.com or give us a call on 021 419 3011 and we will go through things with you okay i hope that helps have a great day